Are you recruiting someone? <laughs> accidentally, yes, I did. I did accidentally recruit someone just now. Who do we have? It. Bear I, doctor. Be, I was, but I, I, that's not how you pronounce it. I know that. <laughs> She's the daughter of a bear. I mean, actually, she is. So maybe. <laughs> I should really level up at some point. Oh, your character is warm. Are you setting shit on fire again? No, I just walked into a campfire. <laughs> Don't mind me. Well, I dug up Catherine. She had nothing for me. I should just dig up all the graves, right? Yeah. It's not like they carefully buried them in this town. Here lies Kimberly, finally. I found Murphy. Murphy's a dog. Aww. Why does that make me sad? Here's I just... Cold drink. I, I dug up a grave and pulled out a pie. Grave pie. Sounds like something from like Always Sunny. Grave pie. Why did I just get a bunch of XP? What did you just do? Um, I dug up a guy's coffin and in it was a dead sheep. Oh, that dead sheep is important. There's a quest that you're supposed to like find out about ah. the guy who like. Just, you have to keep the dead sheep. This is basically what I'm getting at. I, I dug up Dave, and Dave just hit me for like 90% of my health. Do you need me to come over there? Um, if at all possible. <laughs> Dave is level 8. <laughs> he just killed a dog. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> I mean, I do have a resurrect scroll, but I don't know how to use it. Like. Away. You know what? You should just be running away. Okay, I fleet combat. Okay. Okay. So there's a graveyard with a level eight dead guy in it now. Um, he's he's uh he's just murdering townsfolk. I hope that's okay. <laughs> we'll just tell the guards it'll be fun. He killed Murphy the dog, and now there's who is this? I don't know who that is, but he killed her. He's gonna kill her too. <laughs> Um, he killed some dude whose corpse doesn't even exist anymore, he's so dead. Can I resurrect the dog? Uh, I got too close and now I'm back in combat. Ah, oh, god damn it! Stop doing that! Oh, I want to resurrect the doggy though. Um, it's Bear Daughters. Oh! Was that Bear Daughter? Bear yeah. Daughter's the one that's right up next to it. Uh, should I just You're controlling flee? Bear Daughter. I should probably just flee, right? Probably. You'll need to get some distance between you and the murder t murder corpse. Oh, I guess he didn't. Okay. I am well, because she flees, but that doesn't mean that I flee. Yeah. Are you still in combat? Apparently, but I can't get back to my character. There we go. Okay. Let's not go towards the graveyard for a while. Yeah. 
ya. Ya. Yeah. Huh. Well, the, the murder skeleton doesn't appear to be there anymore. Unless I just don't see him because I'm not close. I don't know, this seems uh seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> so why do you have Bear Daughter again? Huh? She's like an actual party member now? She is. She's a party member. What is she? I think she's an archer, but we get rid of her when we find another person. She was in a cage because she bit someone's face. She bit someone's face. And for some reason, that just struck me as someone who should take along with us. Well, you know, I mean, she fits right in. This is the cage she was in. <laughs> Never really knowing what you're supposed to do with this game though, because it doesn't like give you any like quest things or anything, you just have to guess. You should really find a way to heal them. Oh, probably. Should I keep any of the weird crab I've got? Why do I have a golden grail? When did I find that? When did you find a golden grail? Was it in the dungeon? I don't know. I just have it. I'm looking at my inventory. You just have it. I have a two-handed practice sword. I have um, a steam cloud arrow, earth wand, the graveyard pie. Some poison flasks, a couple potatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to stuff until I have some idea of what it's, you know, actually. I want to buy some cheese. You want to buy some cheese? There's a cheese vendor. There's just a vendor that sells cheese. That's all he does. Kitty yeah. cheese. You know, some people have business models that they uh. They've got. Source hunter. I'd like All to right. Presumably. So that's the question. Is I was pushing up and nudge lucky for the perpetrator. Being at the King Crab nearly. Ah, hello. It's very. I feel like something has been switched around with the quest. I can't really identify what. What an elf. And my word. What. I don't know, but I think I have to go and talk to this guy, so I'm going to do it. Don't forget, I'm your interest is a word of warning of... Evidence chests. Those seem like good things to steal from. Yeah, all the best right. things in life are evidence. Greetings, traveler. And maybe you mean you would steal yourself by following her in Swartz in up there. Let's discuss Jake's murder. He says he's an immaculate. But I thought he'd been banished after the death of the Source King. Well, I can take some paintings from here, I think. Why do I want paintings? Oh well. Greetings, Source Hunter. Not exactly the friendliest color. I don't think this guy likes Source Hunters. I think most people don't because, I mean, honestly, we're kind of this. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What did, what did, what, I went into the wrong room. I went into the wrong room. 
I went into a wrong room. I'm sorry. I don't know what she did, but it healed me while I was mid-dialogue, so... I went into a wrong room, and when you're done... How do I say wrong room? Like, I'm like, fresh off the boat. I went into the wrong room, and when you're done, you're gonna get dragged away. I'm sorry. Rot row. Rot row. I'm outside for heal, I guess. <laughs> Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Okay, so the dead sheep was presumably the corpse of the guy whose murder we're investigating. So that actually mattered. I'm not a fan of this guy. Okay, so I got done talking and my character flopped over it. It said tripping above him. think so. That stone. Somehow, it sent us flying into the sky. I walked into the murder room and this is what happened. Like, I just, I walked to the room where the guy died in. So we are now in super space. Yeah, because I opened the just wrong like door. like regular this space. This dangerous but fucking world. Well, I see Zigzags. He's level 26. Let's try and kill him. He looks fairly goblin-like. Ah, very goblin -like. ask a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flatter, it should have. Oh, what if I just don't care that much? Time yeah, I mean... Naturally I mean, no what does it matter to me? Indeed, I can think of no worse night for a chronicler such as myself, but something totally God damn it, so just... don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. Go ahead, look into the lens. Be quite, quite mad. Then we had better please him and have a look through the looking lens. I see a black hole and a <laughs> dragon of some sort. You see a black hole and a dragon. Of some sort. You looked. Yep. Before. Well, he's got Ten beer in his desk, so he's clearly been drinking. What? Yeah, that's a black hole and a dragon of some sort. Yeah, whatever, but can I steal anything from you? The like, okay. It's quite strong and like, just like the long dormant flames that deck of you. Those torches, and that, this portal active once more. It cannot be coincidence. Goodness me, how bright you are. There's so much to take in, I nearly forgot. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void. This guy's kind of trustworthy. The He's just like talking to us about all this stuff. We just, we're just random people who just speak into his time, time void. This is oh, I can't imagine he gets many visitors. He's just excited to talk about his hobby. <laughs> That's true. It just so happens to be that his hobby is watching the end of the universe. 
drinking our future by the second. Ah, though I cannot say for certain if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than. Oh God, dramatic pause. Oh God, fuck you. As it's not that I can then. No longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. Stop with a pattern if you, you have one. But okay. Oh, what wonders we may find on the. Well, you don't know. Maybe in throughout the entire span of eternity, he's seen it happen a few times. God, there's a lot of fucking wine in here that I'm taking. This guy's just a drunk. We shouldn't be following him at all. Probably not. He's got this weird place with a bunch of portals and shit. <laughs> this one's all looking fiery, and that one's all looking lightning-y, and there's a big golden statue of what's probably a four-armed naked dude. They should really have invested in some walls, though. I feel like walls would have been cool. Yeah. You don't need walls at the end of time and space. <sighs> I... True. Did you start dialogue with a chest? Yeah. Okay. It tells me it's the last chest. Ever? That's... Feels oddly meta, but okay. I, it, it tells me that if I feel worthy of rifling through its treasures, I have to find its four sisters to learn how to open it. That sounds like a really awesome date. Found the weaver of time. Oh, that's good because we don't want the time to remain unwoven. That's important. Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came to contact with that stone. Sasa, I now know it to be called. Madam Eva, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry. Cool, so we don't actually exist. The stone. Swords hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say, 
I like how she doesn't know that we exist, but she knows we're sourcing. Starstone is not what it seems. It is not what it seems. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they tormented for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch. Granting a new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink. Starstone restores. This is kind of some like some Star Trek shit where they just say a bunch of stuff that makes no sense and then someone just condenses it and acts like it makes sense. True. But if I if I know anything at all, it's that sorcery is going to be involved in this. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that sorcery could be the source. Discover the true nature of these stones. The void will consume us all. Indeed, you must. Though I may not yet understand why, it seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much me. Alright, so we're getting a mission from God to find the MacGuffins. Which is pretty much like every game ever. I have recorded their doings, you see. Collectors of Starstone more and more by the day. Now I understand. They keep the stones from our reach. They prevent the mending of time. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. That shall never be me. Why do we care about any of this? We were just like, trying to find the murderer of some dude. We'll just talk to it. I'm gonna say that the black hole at the end of the universe is probably source. So we should probably go kill it. But should I wanna, we? Is it really I wanna gonna kill us? the like, end of time. What is the, what is the timeline on this? Because they're talking about the end of time. I well, thought... they're, they're talking about the end of time getting closer by the second. Yeah, so... but I mean, how far away was it to begin with? <laughs> they have a vast spectrum of like... It's, it's actually like next Thursday, so we gotta hurry. Bye. Bye. You hot <laughs> All right, so there's another let's talk to each other thing. And this is so weird if you're playing alone. It's just so weird. By way of some magical stones, what do you make of it? We can't deny our reaction to Starstone. There must be something. All of this, mad as it may seem. Still, it's quite a leap from finding a strange stone to placing the world's salvation on our shoulders. I got plus one romantic. <laughs> okay. I mean, right. I would say like naive or gullible, but okay. How do they end this game? Well. Oh. Alright, I will be back in a moment. Break time.
Okay. Okay, there we go. In your gaze and the set of your brow suggest no with you, but you need a way luckily. Off you go then. You cross my heart, hope to fit before you go. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. Board, board. How, how, how? Oh, fuck. What's your actual night hat? Night hat. Oh, that sounds weird.
way you arrive at conclusions. I see the origin. That's weird. Stack things, can you be disrespectful? <laughs> Enjoy stack things on them. So now we can waypoint out of here. You done in this area? Yeah, I'm done. Alrighty. I stacked my bases. I'm good. Diet Coke. What's she drinking? Diet. 